For the last two nights, we've shared the story of a panhandle man who claims to have worked for the mafia for most of his adult life. Tonight, in the final part of her special report, News 13's Alexia Chiropolis tells us how Jim Burton wound up in a foreign prison and how he hopes to tell his life story to the rest of the world. Jim Burton made a lot of money off his mafia schemes, but he also attracted a lot of attention. And as you're about to see, attention in the mafia world is not always a good thing. Well, Jim Burton was participating in that foreign currency exchange scheme in Las Vegas. A stockbroker friend convinced him to extend that deal to Colombia. He wire transferred the money there and traveled just for a meeting. Just then, they had 12 U.S. Marshals jump out of the ceiling tiles and jump on me. They took me to a uh, a prison that was 17 stories underground in Colombia. And I thought I was a tough guy until, <laughs> until I was put there. There's, there's no way I'm getting out of this place. It didn't go too well, to say the least. It cost me $12 million to get out of, get out of a jail in, in Colombia which was, was not fun. Burton used his contacts with a few New York attorneys who negotiated the $12 million deal to gain his release. That wasn't his only brush with the law for his money schemes. Somehow I ended up in Tennessee. They, I went to jail in Tennessee because this person had owed me some money and they came up with a bunch of lies about me. They brought in an FBI informant and they, they made up this big story about me. So I did two years in a jail that was condemned. Both stints behind bars gave Burton time to reflect on the life he'd been living. I was 15 when I, I ran away from home. I didn't want to go. I was attending Catholic school at the time. I was, uh, I was abused by Franciscan brothers. These days, Burton mentally escapes from his wild career in the mob by remembering his farm in his hometown of North Babel, New Jersey, a farm he had to sell. He's also suing some people who he claims cheated him out of money and lied about him. My, my farm was a beautiful place and it would be a beautiful place for kids to be raised. And what I'm trying to do is use that money to buy it for a home for all these sexually abused kids. Burton has also written a book about, well, his life in the fast lane. Through this book, I've had many offers for movie rights because I, I believe that that my story is better than Goodfellow's any day. But he's looking for an agent to help negotiate a deal that would bring his remarkable life to the big screen. Some people think that it's uh, unbelievable, but I've got the proof to prove it all. Proof that he's lived the life of a wise guy. Jim Burton says he helped a friend move to the Panhandle, fell in love with the area, and moved here himself. In fact, he says he wished he moved here sooner. It might have kept him out of trouble. To see all parts of our Life in the Fast Lane series, go to mypanhandle.com.